One aspect of Star Wars Outlaws is actually based. That's right. I'm going to tell you why Star Wars Outlaws is kind of based, but it might have been on accident. Actually, I'm sure it was on accident. I've been playing Star Wars Outlaws since it came out. I have a few hours into it now. You know, a few. I've uh, been working towards this honest review that I'm going to give of Star Wars Outlaws. want to make sure I put enough time into it. As I was sitting there playing, I was walking through Tatooine, getting to know the people there, accepting some missions, and I noticed something. I says to myself, so I says, why are there so many female characters in this game? I mean, not just the protagonist, not just the main character, Vest that we play as. Why are there so many other female characters in this game? Like every mission I feel like I get from somebody is from a female character. Now I don't know if you've noticed this, but I definitely know it was noticeable. You know, there's male characters in it, of course, but it just doesn't seem like as many male characters as probably should be in like a galaxy of 50% males and 50% females. Obviously, I don't have any problem with females being in video games because you know I spent $70 on this game to play it and I'm still playing it I'm playing as KVS I don't care about that okay there are a couple of things about it that are kind of unrealistic but I'm gonna save thoughts about that for my review but the thing that is based in this game that was totally accidental is the fact that there are so many females in this game now why do I say that usually that would be a woke thing right having girls everywhere the force is female right well in this case no there's there's a good argument to be made so there's females everywhere women are running the show in this game it's, it's obvious why well when does star wars outlaws take place somebody comment down below no don't because i'll tell you right now it takes place between empire strikes back and return of the jedi now what's going on during the time of empire strikes back and return of the jedi the galactic civil war the gala it's happening all across the galaxy what do the two sides of a war need to succeed and win in battle soldiers who are the soldiers the men the men are the soldiers so obviously all of the real men throughout the galaxy have already joined up with the empire or the rebellion and they're already fighting or dead or stationed in freaking Hoth or wherever they are. They're in a war. Now, that's what happens during wartime. A lot of young men, a lot of older men like to join up. We know that young men are leaving to go into war because of what Luke Skywalker said in A New Hope at the beginning when he said, And if these new droids do work out, I want to transmit my application to the Academy this year. Oh, and he can't stay here forever. Most of his friends have gone. There you go. All the men in Star Wars Outlaws are are actually fighting in the war. That's why you're not getting missions from men, because all the women are left to do the scoundrel work, which is the dirty work, of course. It's really sad. I do feel represented as a man in Star Wars Outlaws, even though I'm playing as a female, by being unrepresented, that I feel represented as a man, because I'd be going to join one of the two sides and fighting, either the Empire or the Rebellion. Which side would you join? Let me know down below. I don't know what to say, because the Empire probably pays very well, and, you know, it looks cool to be a Stormtrooper. It's cool to be a Stormtrooper, have all the cool equipment, have that, you know, being an AT or being a freaking TIE fighter, or the Rebellion doesn't pay shit. The Rebellion, you're just kind of left wearing leftover clothes and you have to stay in a freaking frozen base and hide away from the Empire. I don't know. I don't know. And it was not an accident that they did this. It was not an accident that, oh, there's more women in this game. And it's noticeable. I'm not looking for woke things, but I am noticing when it happens. And this is indeed a woke thing. There was an article that came out in August, Star Wars Outlaws, women taking the lead in a galaxy far, far away, where they interviewed script writer Nick Nikki Foy and Kay Vess herself, Humberly Gonzalez. They kind of went in this article and talked about how women play a huge part in Star Wars Outlaws. I want to read a couple excerpts just to prove to you that I'm not I'm not making things up. I'm not here saying, well, this is woke and this is woke, so it's all woke. If you've seen my videos, you know that I'm extremely fair and I give everything the benefit of the doubt and I'm not looking for this stuff. This part of it was done on purpose, but it's accidentally based, which is kind of funny in a way, but here's a couple excerpts from this article. It's interesting. I will post the whole thing in the description so that you can take a look at it if you're interested. I don't know why you 
would be. This is a CGMagOnline.com article. So our nerdy fandoms, especially things like Star Wars, present very male-dominated, whether that's the creative team or the fans. What's it like to lead the charge on this both as the creative team and the voice and the body of the Star Wars Outlaws? That's a stupid quote. Oh, gosh. To lead this male-dominated universe and have it be a woman first right now. Nikki Foy, this is the lead script writer of Star Wars Outlaws, says, It's a really great opportunity, I think. So... <laughs> Right off the bat, it's a great opportunity to put women first. See, I told you. It's a really great opportunity, I think, for not just individuals, but for the brand as a whole. I was just talking about how I was at Galaxy's Edge for the first time in my life and just cried the whole time because I couldn't believe it. And I was building a lightsaber in that experience, which was so cool. But next to me, there were two sisters, and they were probably six and eight. Building one next to me, I just felt so... I just cried very hard the whole time because it was just like this brand meant so much to me, and I didn't have someone like Kay to really see myself in. Nikki Foy was uh, crying very hard at Galaxy's Edge while she was building a lightsaber. That's... Um, very odd to me. I don't believe you. I really, really highly doubt that you broke down and cried very hard at Galaxy's Edge. And I didn't have someone like Kay to really see myself in. I loved Princess Leia, but I wanted to be Han, right? Okay, so you saw yourself in Han, Nikki. Like, what's... What's the problem with that? Just because he's a man? What do you have against men anyway? And I think getting to bring that to life was so special. And our whole team really has been the goal from the beginning. It's been really special. Here's Humberly. This is Kay Vass. Yes, to be a leading woman, not just in Star Wars story, but in the video game industry, which also tends to have a lot of limitations of misogyny and kind of in and out politics of who can be part of it and who you want to play as. I am incredibly proud of the team having chosen someone like me, but also only me, that there isn't a male counterpart in the story Star Wars Outlaws, that we are focusing on a female point of view of a scoundrel story because we've only really ever seen males in a scoundrel position. <sighs> Humberly, that's because being a scoundrel, okay, takes a certain type of person. So a scoundrel has to go into places like, like a real world biker bar on the side of the freaking highway, okay? A woman's not going to do as well in that situation as a man. It takes that kind of person to be a scoundrel, whatever the hell that is. So the representation is incredible for me as an immigrant Latina in Canada to bring to even speak about my country, about Venezuela, and about what it means to me as an artist as I followed this dream, not having any of my family here, not having a lot of mentors in my family or anyone to look up to or content to look up to. Even in Star Wars, you know, there aren't a lot of Latinas in this space. And so for me, I knew that this was going to mean a lot, not just to me and my community and my family, but to everybody else who's watching it too and playing it. Seeing women as the faces and storytellers behind these epic tales is something every girl needs to growing up. And that's knowledge that was not lost on the pair while working on Star Wars Outlaws for the last several years. When they go, ooh, this is a cool character. I wonder where they're from. And then they do the research. I just want people to feel seen and see if I can be any of those categories as a woman. A woman of color, as an immigrant, as a Latina, as any of those are so meaningful for someone who enters a franchise as big as Star Wars. What do you mean enters? Like, starts watching. So for the next generation, for those little girls in the galaxy's edge, or for the little girls watching, for anyone back home, for me, if they just simply get to see someone like them on screen, it means something to them. Feel inspired, feel strong, feel seen, feel represented. That to me is the goal. It's incredible. <sighs> Bro, calm down. It's a video game, okay? Nikki Foy says, yeah, and I think, too, there's an empathy element to it that I really love to think about. This woman talks really weird. When I was a kid, I think there's been a lot of research about this, and people who are talking about it talk about it. But I think, too, it's easy for young girls to empathize with male characters. Yes, that's right. It's something that we've always been taught. And I think having this female character who everyone can love and see parts of themselves in is so exciting and fun too. It's made me emotional. I have a five-year-old daughter and a nine-year-old son, so seeing him see her, see that it is possible in Star Wars Outlaws, why is everything making her emotional? Like, this is, oh my gosh, dude, this is infuriating. <laughs> It's also fake, too. Like, I broke down and cried at Galaxy's Edge. A lot of the time, people will say being a woman is a weakness. We're emotional. We're not tough. N nobody says that, that a woman's a weak... See, it's getting, me, it's getting me fired up here just reading this shit. Nobody says being a woman is a weakness. Okay, they're strong in different 
in other ways. They're strong. They're not strong physically as strong as men, but they're strong in other ways. I mean, they're freaking moms. It takes a lot of strength to be a mom, okay? Dads can't handle that kind of heat. <laughs> it's it's hard. It's hard to do. Yeah, we're emotional. We're not tough. We're not as strong as the male heroes. No, you're not. And yes, you are emotional. You, you, just, you just proved that you were emotional at the beginning of this article by saying that you cried. <laughs> We're emotional, we're not tough, we're not as strong as the male heroes. So did you need to find a balance with Kay and Star Wars Outlaws, both in writing and acting in terms of her femininity and her strength, or do you need that, or do you think that her femininity is her strength? Yeah, I don't know if we've ever thought about that in terms of that. I remember early on writing this huge document about the way in which female protagonists are different from male protagonists, and it's not the way of worse or better, but to me, the point of view really infuses the how of things. Often the why is the same for the characters. Here she kind of gets into this. Like survival for example, right? Female characters often are showing surviving in a different way. Maybe a cool charming female character. She's going to use her feminine wiles to get something done. Or she can pretend to be weak and whatever. And I made this list of things that I was like, I don't want Kate ever to do any of these things. I don't want her to pretend to be weak. I don't want her to ever pretend to be weak. I don't want her to use her femaleness to get something. Why not? That's, I mean, that's, that's part of what makes female characters cool is acting like a female. You know what I mean? I'm done with this article right now. I just wanted to prove to you that, yeah, it was made woke on purpose and they put way too many women in the game, which made it seem like there were more women than men, but it made it accidentally based because, yeah, all the men would be out fighting in the war. That's the point of this video. <laughs> it's kind of funny how they always own themselves in the end. They always make themselves look like fools in the end. I'm going to keep playing Star Wars Outlaws. I'm going to have a review out soon here. I'm, I'm working diligently on it. I'm taking notes. I'm taking lots of notes. And I think you'll enjoy what I have to say. And it's going to be honest, okay? I'm not going to make... I'm not going to say everything's woke like all these other people do on YouTube. I don't do that. Let me know down below what you think about this. Did you see that too like I did? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. <laughs>